All right, folks, I did it. I found the stupidest person in America. So at an anti-mask rally, which is still a thing apparently, in the middle of a pandemic, this person, she said something that almost made my head explode. She equated anti-mask activism to police brutality against George Floyd. Take a look. Hundreds have gathered here in front of the Washington County Administration building calling for the end of a mask mandate, saying they are tired of not living their normal lives. A passionate call for action Friday morning in St. George. Several police officers on standby as many locals called concerns about coronavirus spikes overblown. The flu kills more than coronavirus. Others calling the virus a hoax or stating that asymptomatic carriers simply do not exist and they cannot be forced to wear masks anywhere as citizens of the United States. If we want to wear a mask, that's fine. We can take care of ourselves. Some rally attendees say they shouldn't ever wear masks if they have any medical issues or mental health concerns or if they they feel they simply can't breathe. When George Floyd was saying, I can't breathe, and then he died, and now we're wearing a mask, and we say, I can't breathe, but we're being forced to wear it anyway. But many say that they believe in all cases, masks jeopardize kids' health. Parents are demanding they have the right to decide what to do with their children. I'll tell you another reason I hate masks. Most child molesters love them. School administrators responding that they don't understand why crowds are protesting them based on a mandate given by the governor. They blocked off the uh, front entrance to the school building and we went out to ask them to move and they uh, attempted to storm the school building. The school board is implementing the governor's recent order that face shields alone are not enough. And if a parent is adamant that their child cannot wear a mask or a shield, they must fill out a form including a doctor's note so the district can review it. In St. George, Katie Kralis, ABC4 News. That is going to be a big yikes from me. <laughs> How do you say that with a straight face? When George Floyd said that he couldn't breathe, he had a knee on his neck for nine minutes. If you're wearing a mask, the difference is you can wear a mask for nine minutes and breathe. It may be uncomfortable, it may be hot, but it's not like you can't breathe. There's not a large number of people dropping dead because they're wearing masks for an extended period of time. Like, this is... Such a weird thing, such a strange hill to die on. And I am like pleased to see that the anti-mask hysteria for the most part has died down, but there's still holdouts, people like this, who believe genuinely so that they are being wronged, that these mask mandates are posing a risk to their lives. And I'm sorry, I can't help but think you're a stupid person if you believe this. Nobody likes wearing masks. But this is what we have to do. We're living through a pandemic for who knows how long, and we have to wear masks because that's how we stop the spread of COVID-19. If you don't want to wear a mask, then stay home. But if you don't want to stay home, then you have to wear a mask. This is non-negotiable. There's no medical condition where you can't wear a mask. I get that there are issues with some people wearing masks, with children, for example. Like, if you put it on a toddler, you know, it's going to be difficult to get them to keep it on. 99.9% .9 of the population is fine wearing a mask. Fine wearing a mask. But if you are in America and you're a right-winger, you're always the victim under any circumstances. It doesn't matter how minimal the inconvenience is, you are the victim. And we're still getting these viral videos of male and female Karens yelling at minimum wage workers because they aren't allowed to shop at stores um, without masks. It's just, I mean, I've said everything that I need to say about this. Most people are logical enough to at least acknowledge the necessity of masks, even if they don't like wearing it. But people like this really show how stupid Americans can be sometimes. I mean, you are nothing like George Floyd to even compare your activism, quote unquote activism, to George Floyd. It just, it's a level of delusion, privilege, and just stupidity that, I mean, I, I'm not going to say I didn't think it was possible. I knew it was possible, but you just don't expect to see as common as we see it. But it's pretty common, unfortunately in 2020 America. Real life version of idiocracy, folks.